Hello again. We've been talking about availability. In our last lecture, we introduced the notion of an intrusion detection system and an intrusion prevention system. The idea is to try to uh, prevent or at least detect anomalous activities to keep your system from being crashed by malicious outsiders. Well, uh, it's, it's hard to do in a lot of cases. Let's, let's talk about why it is. Well, ideally, you would like to be able to, in an intrusion detection system, to be able to recognize that something funny is happening in your system. There's files being uh, deleted or, uh, you know, malicious content is being placed on your hard drive or something like that. But how do you, how do you uh, detect that in the, in the context of, you know, lots of different rights to your hard drive and lots of different activities uh, like that? Well, it's, it's pretty hard. Uh, and an intrusion detection system sort of inherently is reactive. I mean, you have to recognize the pattern that's already going on. That's the point of it. Well, there are two things that might go wrong. Um, you might have what's called a false positive. That is, there's a, genu a genuine attack which is going on, but you don't detect it. On the other hand, you might have a false negative. You may inadvertently uh, shut down your system or, or preclude packets from coming in, which are in fact legitimate traffic. Um, and which of those is the bigger problem depends upon, you know, the scenario and what you, what you want are protecting and what you need to control and how sensitive you are to, to an, an infraction. Um, what you would like ideally as an intrusion detection system which is accurate and precise. Accurate means it detects all legitimate or all genuine attacks and therefore has no false negatives. And precise means it never reports legitimate behavior as an attack, therefore has no false positives. It's very easy to make an intrusion detection system which is accurate or precise, you know, either report everything as an attack or report nothing as an attack. But what you really want is one that is both accurate and precise and hits that sweet spot in the middle. And that's pretty hard. Okay, so um, one of the problems with intrusion detection systems is what's called the base rate fallacy. And the issue here is that uh, on a typical system, you've got lots of traffic coming in, lots of packets coming in from the network, and not many of them are uh, malicious packets. And so the percentage of malicious packets out of the total population is pretty small. And so what you're dealing with there is statistically rare events. And here's an example. If only 1% of the traffic is malicious, and you have a detection accuracy of your intrusion detection system of 90%, uh, unfortunately bad things happen. Well, what does it mean to say that the intrusion detection system accuracy is 90%? Well, it means that the IDS classifies an attack as an attack 90% of the time, and it classifies a valid connection as an attack 10% of the time. Unfortunately, that's not really very good because since the attacks are relatively rare in the population, you get a lot of false positives. And so in this case, approximately 92% of the time that an alarm is raised, the alarm is false. Now the upshot of that is that if your system administrator has to get out of bed every time an alarm is raised, and it turns out that that's 92% of the time, then he's gonna turn the system off because it's, it's going to be so annoying and so a system like this wouldn't be very useful, even though 90% sounds like a pretty good rate. Okay, so what have we said? Well, false positives and false negatives are both bad for an intrusion detection system, though which is worse depends upon, you know, how critical your data is. For example, if you have a system that absolutely can't, can't tolerate an attack, then it's better to err on the side of being more accurate than being more precise. Um, you would like your IDS to be both accurate and precise, but it's hard to, it's hard to hit that, that middle point. Um, many IDSs suffer from what's called the base rate fallacy, which means if, you, if attacks are relatively rare, you have to get a very high degree of accuracy for the system to be useful. And otherwise, this, the IDS just becomes useless. Thank you.